Have you noticed how mainstream media is already telling you how to think and what the election outcome is going to be this September for New Brunswick? Here's a story from the January 13th Gleaner, also part of Brunswick News, so it ran in the other papers as well. What election messages are our political leaders sending? In this story, they mainly refer to conservative and liberal leadership. They give Green Party maybe 15 words, 20 words. They give NDP about five words, and they make no mention at all of People's Alliance Party. So right from the get-go, the general perception is your choices are limited. About 10 days later, January 24th, is another story. Polls suggest NB Liberals and Tories in a dead heat. It was a survey that was done by a company looking for free ink and exposure, the newspapers looking for easy copy to generate. But the impression that you're getting is that you've only got two choices. Do a bit of homework. I want on the Facebook pages for all five political parties. Here's the followers that they have for each of the parties. The Liberals have 3,600 followers. The Green Party has 3,300 followers. The People's Alliance have 2,300 followers. The NDP, 1,500. And last, the Conservatives with 1,100. Somewhere out there, there's another conversation taking place that mainstream media continues not to include in the conversation. If we're going to have a healthy political turnout and a healthy narrative around our provincial election, we need mainstream media either to start including everyone or we have to go do it ourselves.